wide and say, God says this is what I should, which I, uh, we should do. But it's not God that sent them. They will say, God says, but it's not God that says. And then God is saying they're going to they join them. They're going to give them a, a, a water of God, that is bitter water to them. That is punishment, an act of punishment to them. In verse 21, in that same verse, I have not sent this prophet, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. God says, for us, God did not say. Oh no, no, no. That is one thing you, you know about this uh, first prophet. That is why you are not the vigilant, you must be stopped here so that this first prophet will not just mislead us anywhere. That is why it is good to be in the right place like this where we cannot be misled. So when, we, when we are out there, they will not deceive us because we have known the truth and the truth. That's us free. Because they are there to deceive people and take them to hell. And their father has said, is the devil. In, in John chapter 8, verse 44. John chapter 8, verse 44. Oh. Ye are from your father the devil, and the loss of your father ye we do. It was a murderer from the beginning, and I would not the truth, because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie. He speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of his. And it's that they are like their father the devil. Because Satan's life and their own life, they do not different. It is full of evil continually. They are not ready for the truth at all. And Satan, their father, is like them, like why I was just like I was telling the Pharisees and the scribes. And this guy, they are not just a family that did. There are people in the synagogues who knows the law, who know the scriptures. And so they are not surprised that they are first prophet and first teacher in the church. Who are not teaching, who are not, who are not teaching the right teaching for the wrong one. Because Satan is the one leading them. And when Satan is leading them, they will say God says, but God did not say. They are led by their own uh, emotional uh, 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 imagination, not what the Spirit of God says. In Matthew chapter 24, Verse 11 and verse 24. Matthew chapter 24, verse 11 and verse 24. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophet and shall show great signs and wonders in so much that. If it were possible, they shall receive the very end. Many false prophets that have arrived, they are in the church, they are everywhere deceiving people. Not only that, there are many false Christ, they claim to be a uh, uh, Christ, they claim to be children of God, but they are not. You see them doing great signs and wonders, but they are not of Christ. And if not, if, 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 if the elect, those that are standing in the faith, are not careful, 
they too will deceive by those false prophets and false teachers. And that is why you and I must be taught to know the word of God so that no person, no man, no woman can ever deceive all. In Romans chapter 16, verse 18. Romans chapter 16, verse 18. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the teachers. Don't claim to be children of God, but they are not true. They are there for their own belly, and then they are also there to deceive men, even the simple, those that are really converted by the way of life. You see that those people that are really coming. Growing up in faith, because those who are coming are there to deceive them, they will actually deceive those ones at the end of the day. It is left for you and I to know the word of God deeply, study the word of God as we are going to in the morning and the evening, and the Holy Spirit is helping us so that we can know the false prophet from true prophets. But the word of Jesus is that we should be watchful and very careful of these false prophets and false teachers that are everywhere, especially in the church today. What is their function? It's just the false the, 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 the function of Satan. They came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. In 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 18 to 19. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 18 to verse 19. For when they speak gracefully words of vanity, they are loved through the loss of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them would live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome of the sin is still brought in bondage. They will promise freedom to the people, but they are in corruption, they are in evil. That is where they, they, they have, they are in evil and they remain in evil. And in that evil, they will corrupt other people. You and I must run away from them. You and I don't have any business with them. That same Roman, Second uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 3 and 9. And true covetousness shall they with fierce way make merchandise of you, whom judgment now of a long time, lingering not, and in their damnation, slumbering not. Verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to preserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be poor the people, they will take from the people. Every day they put their hand, their their wife, their money, everything they have, they will exploit the people because they are false prophets and false teachers. But are they going to go sports free like that? That day of judgment is coming and the judgment has been stuck in their, in their, in their head already. If they, if they refuse to repent, they will suffer in their head. And in eternity. And everyone that is following them and following their evil way will also suffer like them also. That is why you and I must run away from them. We must not be among them. Because they will lead us to evil. There's a saying, evil 
communication, it corrupts good manners. Evil association corrupts good manners. He said, he also said, show me your friend and I will tell you who you are. In 1 Timothy chapter 4, First Timothy chapter 4 from verse 1 to verse 2. Now, the Spirit speaker expressed that in the latter time, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to the Christian spirit and doctrines of devil, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience here with a hot iron. At a time, they were true men and women of God. But as time goes on, as time goes on, they departed from the faith. And their lifestyle, see that their lifestyle is no longer the lifestyle of a true Christian. They give yet to the Christian spirit and doctrine of Satan. And they do, they do funny things and evil things. They are called false prophets because they are no longer serving God. They are no longer doing what God asked them to be doing. And those are the words Jesus is warning us about. And you see that this false prophet, they will never do anything that God likes. They will always do what goes against God's way. What, how do we handle these first and first teachers? One must try to know them. If you know them, you will be able to know their tactics, the way they operate. In first John chapter 4, verse 1. First John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. It's for us to test every spirit. It's not everything they tell you that you don't take a uh, uh, line thinker. No, no, you don't take anything. You must check out to see. True or not? You check for the way of growth. You check by praying to growth. To know if this thing, this person is saying, is true or is a lie. That is the way we can handle this false prophet and false teacher so that you and I will not be deceived. By searching, knowing the spirit that they are operating with. Whether the spirit of God or in the spirit of Satan. In James chapter 4, verse 7. We're looking at how we can handle these false prophets and false teachers. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Receive the devil, and he will flee from you. Jacob. The evil, they will be cured. No matter where it's coming from, you see evil, you must resist evil. So, therefore, you see any problem because of the enemy, you must resist every evil. Resist him. Fight against sin. You must not allow evil to continue you in the church. You must resist Satan, you must resist evil in the church. That's another way for us to check me out and, and to handle this false prophet and false teacher everywhere. We must know this. This false and false teacher, as I said earlier on, once a time, they were true men and women of 
nor of a bramble bush gather the graves. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Three. Cannot bring forth corrupt fruit, but it bring up the good fruits. Also, likewise, the corrupt tree cannot bring forth good fruit. It is able to bring up the corrupt fruit. So, a good man, out of the good treasure in his heart, will bring up good things. But an evil man, out of the evil treasure in his heart, what will we come out from his heart, from his character, be evil, evil continually. And knowing this false prophet like that was run away from them. Balan, the son of Basel, who lived the 
we, we love the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuilt for his iniquity. The tongue has speaking with man's voice, forbidding the madness of the forbid or bad the madness of the prophet. These are well without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the means of darkness is reserved forever. For when we speak great swelling words of vanity, they are not due the loss of the flesh, too much wantonness, those that we are we are clean escape from them who live in error. Evil people, evil prophets and teachers. Their life are full of unrighteousness. Their eyes are full of adultery. All they are doing is evil practices, conventional practices every time. And thereby will not be deceived. 
face Jesus, therefore, again, 
grown in himself, coming to the grave, it was a cave and a stone laid upon a good prophet. Then, Jesus, seeing this family going through sorrow, the way they went with them, the mourn with them, and they intercede for them. and they are 